But today on Power Addicts, we're doing ta -da, wiper blades. Okay, I know that's crazy simple. So I'm gonna throw in one more little tutorial for you. Got it? Got it. What do you think? What do they do? I think so. So first thing you want to do is take your arm, pick it up off the windshield so you can manipulate this uh, arm around. You turn it, you pull this tab towards you, and most of the time they'll turn it loose, but if it doesn't, you get your screwdriver, get right down inside this right here, small screwdriver, and push down on that tab, and they'll pop them right loose. Like that right there. Ooh, and don't drop that arm against your windshield, that's a bad thing. So let's demonstrate one more time. We'll snap it back on. Just like this, we'll flip it. And if you can get it like this, if I can pull down enough to come off, you're great. But you got two choices. You can either push down like that from the top or hook it from the bottom right here. And I'll give you guys a close up here in a moment. It works it right off. And set that down slowly. So what you got is this little tab right here. This little tab, when you push it up, like this right here, it disengages from the groove of this post right here. It allows it to unlock and it'll slide right up on out of there. See? See that little tab lock it? Push it down, it disengages it. Now let's get the new one ready. Then you take your new wiper out of the pack. And some of them's gonna have different adapters. And what you want is the adapter that's gonna be locking onto the post. It's right here, this particular one will work with the hook style. The side lock, which is what this is, or the bayonet style. And this is Rain Guard brand that I got from O'Reilly's. So and it's an 11 inch, part number 31 110. And like I said, I got this O'Reilly's. Engineered by Trico. Anyway, take this, simply slide back over this right here. A little gentle push, boom. Look, it's locked in. Now I'm going to change the passenger side. And the same thing over here, you pull your arm up off the uh, windshield, flip it, and if you can hook that little lever, pull it right off. And again, my finger just done nothing but hang that little tab right there, which gave it clearance for it to pull on through. And you take a new one, just snap it in place. Ta da All done. But what if you need to take the whole wiper arm off? Well, sit down right there and I'll show you how it's done. It's actually pretty simple. Now, you can do it with one screwdriver if it's big enough, but since I've got a standard blade here, what I'm going to do is take this one and get in behind that. Grab hold of that lip on the back side of the wiper there, and I'll just pry up. So. It came up, but I'm gonna get in here a little different angle for you so you can see what's going on. Drop this down right there. So, what you want to do is hang this here. You'll take the edge of the screwdriver, hang it right there, and just pry. Like that right there, and it pops and it walks right off. Ta -da. So all it is, is that little spring clip right there is what's holding it on. So I'll put it back on. Remember where you came from, so you kind of eyeball it to where your line is on your windshield, or you can mark it before you take it off, whichever works for you. Get those splines lined up. Let's see, it's a little bit low. Walk it back. There she is. Now, as for taking off the wiper arm, do not reclock it. Well, I don't like it because it sticks up. It's all in my view like that. I don't like that. Don't do it. Because if you take and lay that arm all the way down on the seal, like you like if you lay it all the way down right there. What's going to happen is whenever you turn on your windshield wipers, it's only going to go to about right there. It's not going to be a full sweep in front of you, so it's not going to clear out all the rain. Now, if you wanted to lay all the way down the windshield, I think it's called Wiper Boy or so, Rip Tech or something like that. There's a kit that you can buy 
that will lay the wipers all the way down on the seal right here and get the wipers out of your face. I personally, it doesn't bother me. I'm not OCD about stuff like that. There's some people that are. More power to you, I guess. Uh, somebody's gonna ask, are oh, you gonna do that conversion? Here's the deal. I'm not gonna pay $100 for that kit just because it annoys me or stuff like that, because it doesn't. Now, if RipTech wants to send me a set, say, hey, you wanna do a video on this? Bring it on, I sure do it. But for me to blow $100 on something that does not matter to me, nah, I gotta do it, so. So everyone, if you enjoyed this video, hit me with a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and leave me some cool comments down below. I appreciate you hanging out. Peace. Later, y'all.